A grilled chicken sandwich seems like a simple, easy little thing. Well, the easy thing, yes, simple too, but when you put everything on it that we're doing, now you got something to talk about. And the secret weapon. Or write home about. Unless you're at home, then you don't have to write. What is that expression? There's something to write home about. What ear did that come out of? Anyway, we apologize for not having a video Wednesday. I'll take the heat. I had the COVID. First time. Looked pretty smart. Made it two and a half years. Two and a half years, and then I got f***ing slammed with it. I look pretty happy though, don't I? You do. Hey, I've got COVID. Surprise, I've got COVID. But because I was shot it up and vaxxed up and boosted up, it was like having a, a bad cold. That's what it was. That's why you want to get the shot, ladies and gentlemen. And because we want to protect everybody, right, boys? Right. So we believe in here. We're not getting political. Max will probably cut this out because he worries I might get a little edgy political sometimes, but I'm not going to. That bleach did help. The bleach did the help. Bleach tea. Yeah, you're going to like this. It's going to be great. Bacon onion jam is a component. A little avocado crema like aioli business is part of it. And my secret ingredient today. Where's the here, ranch seasoning will figure prominently in two parts of uh, what we do today. Let's start the bacon and jam first, because that Astro, by the way, for those of you that don't know, he's not our dog. Lewis is our dog, Summer is our dog. Astro is their dog, next door neighbor. But we'll get the bacon and jam going because it takes the longest, and then everything else is simple. This is a pound of bacon that I lovingly chopped up. I like it in that shape, it's cool. But we want it to cook evenly, so. We just spread it out in our Cooking Guy 12 inch cast iron pan and let it start to do its business. Basically, we're gonna cook it to about three quarters of the way. So I say when it starts getting foamy, that's gonna be your hint that we're ready to move on. All right, that's looking fine to me. So let's get rid of three quarters of the grease. Just like that. Oh, don't wanna lose any more of those guys. Come on, buddies. There you go. On the heat. And to this, I'm gonna add one diced Red onion. Got some cutting skills. Isn't this beautiful? It's like a machine. Forget that piece. Ignore that. <laughs> but it's like a machine did it. Stir this in till they just start to soften. We're going to give these, you know, three, four minutes. By the way, the recipe's below and on thecookingguy.com. We're just talking about how fantastic this smells and looks. And I said all I need is a couple dozen eggs and a little salt and pepper, and I'd be very happy. Actually, we'd all be very happy. Okay, at this point, Two decent sized cloves of garlic. Well, you'd be happy because you don't give Chance and I any food. So full of shit. Stir your garlic through. Just give it about 30, 40 seconds. Ah, this just gets better by the second. What the F? Sprinklers. That's never happened before. Sprinklers? What the hell? Why are they going on? And next step is one large diced tomato in. Stir this through. Turn the heat down to about medium and give this about 10 minutes to uh, cook and melt those tomatoes away. All right, with the sprinklers in the background, really annoying Max. It's time to make this go from great to effing unbelievable. Look at what a little bit of time has done. 10 minutes to start to melt these tomatoes. And think of what you've got. You've got mostly savory going on right now. And we're gonna add a couple components to really boost it. So, sprinkler stop, Max is happy. Okay, the first thing we're gonna add is about a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar just for a beautiful little tang. Then a half a teaspoon of cayenne for a little kick, fresh ground pepper. And finally, about a half a cup of apricot jam. Oh, dang. If you've not had this before, this goes on one of our burgers at Sandburgers, and I'm telling you, it is fantastic. So now we're gonna turn this guy down a bit. We only want like a little gentle simmer, but we mix it well, and then we'll ignore it for 10 minutes or so and let everything just come together in the most fantastic way humanly possible. And while it does, we'll crack on with our avocado crema. There you go, everything you need to make a quick, easy little avocado crema, hopefully. And I say hopefully because I know how to make this, but here's our problem. I normally don't buy these big ass avocados, but the ones that were at the store, the regulation size, were all like rocks, like, like that. And I didn't want that. So let's see what we're dealing with. Like it feels okay, but we're gonna have to make this work because I have no other options. Down to the pit and one, two, three. Oh, that's quite doable. I'll take that, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's get our bowl back and just do this. So this would normally be too small, two regulation avocados and pretty much what this big ass one looks like to me. Right, so the flesh comes out, goes in. 
This is a little hard here. I might not use that part. But this whole side feels pretty good. All right, so we won't use all of it. Bust that up as best you can. I'm trying not to use a processor. One more thing to dirty. Don't want to deal with it. So this may end up being less crema and more chunka. I don't know what you would, but look, we're gonna be fine. Oh yeah, okay. So to this, we have some sour cream that we're gonna add. It'll look like that. Oh shit, I got some on my shirt. This will mix. Now a couple other things. We want some zest of this lime here and the juice of it, but you gotta get the zest first. So a way to do it. This is like the major lime, orange, lemon flavor. Just using the zest, I mean. We don't need every bit of it, but we'll get that much. And then give it a little roll. Cut this guy in half. By the way, that was a great paring knife. Let's start with a half. I don't want this thing too mushy, you know? I think half's gonna be great. Okay, a little salt and pepper, clove of a garlic, tablespoon or so of chopped cilantro, like that, and we mix. Oh yeah, how could this ever be bad? Yeah, it's chunky. So, look, you wanna get a processor out? Do it, perfect. Time for our chicken. And we're using breasts. Why? Because we're breast men. Because you're a breast man and I'm just being kind. So little chicken breasts. I've taken the tender off the back. It's not there anymore on either of them. But look, this is a bun and you can see. I mean, it's okay. It's not great. I want a little bit more coverage. So we're gonna throw them in the Ziploc bag, give them a little uh, flattening, spread them out a bit, and then make them actually easier to cook because they'll be even. So a little squeeze of oil I always think is best. If you've not seen this before, if you're new, I say it's, it's leveling the chicken playing field because you can see this is thin here and this is fat and this is gonna cook faster than here and that means this will burn if this is perfect. And if this is perfect, this is underdone. So just do this. So the benefit that we get is even cooking, but for our purposes today, we also get a wider breast and now it fills the bun. Yeah, it sticks out the edges and that's cool looking, but for now, that's all we need to do. So we'll take this guy out and repeat with the other two. All right, we're done. Now we need to make a little seasoning for this. And I already told you what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with some ranch seasoning. So get out. I'm gonna put about half in here. It's quite powdery, isn't it? Ranch. Ranch. So now it'll get some smoked paprika, like a tablespoon or whatever the hell that was. And this will mix. Yeah. Ranch powder seasoning, love it. Okay, so it's a simple. Sorry, I forgot something. Salt and pepper, now we can mix. I got ahead of myself there. I think there's been a few episodes when I haven't forgotten something. It just doesn't feel like me. Okay, now, now we season. We get this guy up here, flip him over, right there on that one, and we go. And continue. Is ranch seasoning our secret weapon today? It is our secret weapon. It's 100% what it is. Probably do a whole video on ranch. All right, ripping. Sorry, don't rip on me. Okay, your chicken's done. Honey, what do you want for dinner? Every day, millions of people are saying that somewhere in the middle of the afternoon. And the answer isn't always easy. Look, it's a cooking show we want you to cook, but HelloFresh is there for the moments when you don't want to have to think about what it is and get in the car and go to the store and walk the aisles and pick out your stuff. I think they're the best meal kit company ever. You go to their site, you look at the recipes, you look at pictures, things like this, like the sesame soy pork bowls. Things are pre-portioned out. All the ingredients are there. It goes together like this. Most of the things in 30 minutes or less. The pork bowls that Chansey and I made took no time. It was fun and delicious. And look at our faces. That's two happy boys eating great food right there. You can choose from 55 weekly options. And right now, because it's summer, oh my God, there's an Old Bay shrimp and sausage boil, grilled salmon with balsamic tomatoes, family-styled grilled steak and lettuce wraps. And according to a Zagat survey, HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than dining out at a restaurant or going grocery shopping. That should be enough to convince you. So I want you to do this. I want you to go to HelloFresh.com and use my code STCG16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. And who doesn't love a surprise? HelloFresh.com and use STCG16. Okay, the chicken's done, flattened and seasoned. The uh, chunky avocado crema, done and in the refrigerator, and the bacon onion jam is here. Look at this, holy snap. Can you see what 15 minutes on a low simmer has done to this? It's made it amazing. 
It's so amazing, I better just have a little taste of it, because why the hell not? Listen, oh my God. A little bit of heat from the cayenne, sweetness from the jam, and the tomatoes, you get the bacon, the little citrus vinegar punch. If the only thing you take away from today's video is that, you'll be so much better off for it. And even in my apre COVID state, it's one of the best things I've put in my mouth in a long time. A piece of this that's chicken, what she said. that's what, hey, she didn't say that. A piece of this chicken with nothing else but this would be outstanding. We've got nothing left to do but cook our chicken, put this whole thing together, and have some fantastic bites. Let's hit it. Alrighty, with the hot sprayed grill, on we go. Look how pretty they are. And this guy ripped, but that's okay because we'll use the little appendage as a taster. And now we're just cooking chicken and it's fairly thin, so it's not gonna take that long. And I got an idea about oh, the wait, buns. Hold on. We're gonna use that appendage as a taster. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's gonna maybe be three, four minutes aside. We'll go a couple of minutes, turn it 45, do it again, flip it, and then we're gonna be eating soon. Yes, we're cooking to 165 degrees or 160. But just, look, you know when chicken's cooked. Put a little cut, you'll be fine. All right, after a couple minutes, we can have a quick look, getting some nice marks, and we'll give them a little 45. Everybody. Ow, 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 ow including the appendage. Oh, he won't probably need as much, so we'll just get him going now. But here's my idea for the bun, you wanna see? So of course you would toast the bun, right? You could just put it straight down on here and that would be fine. You could put a little oil or butter on it. But today, just because we can, a little mayo. You know, we've done this on grilled cheese before and it toasts up just like a buttered grilled cheese, which is amazing. So this will go right on our grill in a second after we turn these guys over. All right, so let's give these guys a flip. Yeah, it's looking beautiful. Okay, and this little guy is coming along. All right, here's what we need. We need to put our cheddar on. We'll go one, ow, damn, two, beautiful, and tres, nice. So if we take a look at this little kid here, see if he's ready. Oh, he's juicy. He's beautiful. See, done, these guys are basically there. So let's do this, let me give you a bite. Max, chance. How is it? Oh. Oh Yum. Those are really good. All right. Wow, it's really good. Okay, these need color, so on they go. And then I think everything's ready to come off. That's what I think. How good is that? Mmm. Uh -huh. See this? Oh, get those marks. Okay, now let's get them some color. Oh, no. It started flaming. Okay, the buns are coming off. All the chicken's coming off, and we're building. Let's go. One, two, three. And that gorgeous bun. Let's go. And here's how this goes down. Ah. Look at the buns. They're sensational, aren't they? Mayo, too. That's what I love. All right. Remember our avocado crema? That looks like this. That's quite a lot. Is it too much? <laughs> it's too much? I think it's a little too much. How's that? Better. Okay. This gets just to the edges. I might have gotten a little aggressive there. You usually do with sauce. I do like sauce, though. I don't like, sh I don't like dry shit. And by the way, the fact that this is chunky makes me really happy. Fuck smooth crema. That will be my next t-shirt. All right, next. Fuck you, smooth crema. Next, we have some lettuce. I like romaine because, because I can get it nice and fine like this. Next, some tomato, which I'm not always a fan of, but in this case, there's something sort of cool ranch-esque about this that makes me want to have these components. Don't be cheap, because that would suck. That would be a mistake. All right, chicken next. By the way, this chicken is fantastic. And now who remembers this gold? Holy snap. Bacon onion jam. Salty, sweet, savory, vinegary. Best ever. Not my dog barking. Not my dog. Tiny bit more. You good? You want to see the lid go on? And then the crowning glory, the lid. Oh, it's a gem. But wait, we have one more thing to go with it. Ready for my surprise? Yes. It's french fries. Okay, right, standard looking right now, but watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna put them in this bowl. Oh, oh, oh. nice. And by the way, you wanna make your own fries, make your own fries. If you wanna buy them, buy them. And now remember our, our ranch powder, our ranch seasoning. It's getting a tiny bit of this. Oh yeah. And then one more thing, you have to be uh, gentle with it, a little cayenne. Because we don't want these like blowing your mouth out, but we do want just a little bit of heat with this ranch. And then a quick mix. Oh, I'm so happy. And then we'll put a big clump of them right there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is some fine work. All right, I'm starting with two fries because that's how I like to start. 
Let me tell you something, the ranch by itself is fantastic, but with the cayenne, even better. But now I, I want to do this. I want to have just a little bit of that by itself. Shit. And now this. I love the layers. We're trying to figure out what to call it. And I feel like cool ranch or something might not be bad because the cool tomato, the lettuce, the chunky avocado crema, and then this most delicious chicken patty with the cheese and our bacon, onion, jam. Oh my God. Wow, that is, that's pretty as a picture and definitely something to write home about. I'm really excited. That's fucking summertime in a bun. <clears throat> Every part of that works. Every part. Cool Ranch chicken. Is it a burger or a sandwich? Burger. You sure? What does McDonald's call their things? It's a Big Mac sandwich. Don't they call their shit uh, sandwiches? Well oh my, I don't care. Don't bother me. I'm eating. And definitely something to write home about. Wait. Now you just screwed yourself. What happened? Now you gotta take a picture for the JPEG with it. Piss. But, and you don't like that. I hate pictures of me with food. I think I gotta fly on me. Ready. Fuck. <laughs>